Okay, hello. Uh, welcome to my channel, Spot Linux. And uh, this is uh, Rani Ahmed video. And in this video, I want to demonstrate you the 45 degree A prism. Okay. Uh, it's a prism that's usually uh, used on a telescope like this. And this is my only uh, practical telescope, so don't blame, blame me on having this scope as a way to demonstrate the usage of this prism. Now, by default, you should be using this prism as such, okay? And then just installing it, and then you have to install your eyepiece, okay? Now, and this is a true prism. I'm going to show you that it is a true block of glass acting as a prism, okay? And then uh, you use it as, a, as you see by looking at it. And we will see the difference. Uh, or see all the uh, effects of using this or all the outcomes of using this uh, uh, prism, okay? We will picture it because uh, I'm recording from my phone and uh, my only phone and this is uh, this is some XYZ you will install it on this scope and we will show you uh, the, how the image will look like okay, now let me show you now the Prism. Okay, this is unstable by the way, the way that I'm installing the scope. Okay, it's very unstable. I don't have a holder for it, true holder. Yeah, I use it, uh, the, the, the uh, true holder for it is on the Italian telescope that I have. Okay, I just don't want to move all the telescope tools here. Okay. Now, let's show you another kind of what they call a prism, but it's actually a mirror. Uh, okay. And both uh, are uh, types of bending the light. And as I told, uh, as you saw, it's a way just to look at the inside the telescope like this. And this one, same. Okay. Why well, I'm setting it like this. This is a 90 degrees one. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to show you the effect of the 90 degrees. I'm just showing the, the, uh, the outcome of the 90 degrees. I'm only showing you the 45 degrees because this is our topic. But uh, it's just I wanted to show you uh, how people make a mistake between uh, both kinds. Okay, and it's not about the degrees. Okay, there's another one uh, which is a full prism, full pl prism, which is a 90 degrees. I haven't bought it yet. Uh, uh, hopefully, inshallah, we will get it. Okay, and. To know that it's a, it's a mirror, okay, uh, you will have just only simply by putting your finger like this, okay, see, you can see my finger from the other side, okay, let me just unscrew this, so you can see it's a mirror, I will have to go to the other side of the phone, okay, so here, see, it's a, it's a mirror, just a mirror, okay, and I can just, as I told you, just kind of pass my finger, okay, See, you can see my finger, okay. Now with this one, which is the 45 degree, it's a true block. So let me unscrew this side. This is where you put your eyepiece, I so don't want to touch it, it's still new. Okay, uh, or else I have to clean it with a lens pan. Okay. So see, it's a block of glass. Okay, it's not an error at all. Okay, you see the other side. Okay. So and for those who don't know, I, of course, this is screw here is just to fasten and fix the eyepiece in its place. Okay, so let's go back to my scope. So, I told you I want to demonstrate the 4 or 5 degrees only. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use a 32 millimeters uh, eyepiece. This is 32 millimeters, just trust me on this. Okay. This is the one that you usually get with our. Uh, But uh, with the uh, 
case above here, okay, the access on the IP skit, okay. Now uh, the phone would be like this, so I mean this way, this way. So this is the first on XYZ where I use it to hold the phone. So just be like this, okay. So I have to move it and uh, attach it to the scope like this because I want to uh, find the uh, place of the eyepiece of the uh, I mean the lens of the uh, phone of the camera or the camera of the phone. Sorry, the camera of the phone. Yeah, see, it's it's not falling. Because it's not really straight. Okay. And I will have to put the phone to also take. So let's see how we do this. Is. Let me put the phone now. I hope everything goes right and correctly okay, as I expected. So now we are moving towards the lens. Okay, see. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so as you see, I can't focus it. I just can't. Okay, you, you can barely see something. Okay, however, try. Okay, however, I try. Now, the, the, uh, the way this uh, telescope is now set up, and I'm not lying in this, Okay, in this uh, demonstration, I just made it just to show you that in this telescope, this kind of guide scope, which is a very weak one, you will need a barrel lens. So uh, that's why I will be adding or inserting a barrel lens just to get uh, the uh, scope working. Okay, now you'll have to put the lens of the barrel. Let me show you where you'll have to put it somewhere like here. Okay, see, this is the prism. You'll have to put it here in between the prism and the scope. This is part of the scope. And now the position, this one can be extended like this, goes in and out. But uh, before I made this video, I just uh, tried to find where it should focus and it should be focusing when it's like this. Okay, see, it's uh, 60 millimeters. Focusing guide scope. Okay. So let's hang the phone again on its place. Yeah. So I can install the barrel lens. This means that I'll have to add more weight on the telescope, although it's tiny, but it's a weight anyway. And it, of course, on a uh, Newtonian, you will have you have you will have it's a must it's a must do that you have to put a bottle lens, okay? So must have and must do at the same time. You must have a barrel lens and you must have a... Uh, you see? Now it's focusing. 
Cool. Now we can move. To show you the image focus. Okay. Carefully, it was moving. focused that's because I added just the barrel lens uh, you can see the rest of the mask here good picture okay that's it voila so I hope that you enjoyed the demonstration and also with this 90 degrees uh, bend, light bender okay you will have also to, to use a barrel lens okay now uh, like it's uh, the barrel lens is what I want to say about but uh, in this uh, for in this uh, telescope uh, I needed to have it okay but uh, it's not necessary with all telescopes okay it depends on your telescope now but, uh, but what I advise you is that you should have a barrel lens no matter what because you don't know uh, whether the prism that you will add uh, will need a, uh, a barrel lens just to get the image into focus. Okay, uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hope uh, you watch my other videos too. Subscribe to my channel and see you soon again. Bye.